So this is my review of The Book of Proof by Richard Hammack. Now I use this book to study for an upcoming proofs class that I will take. And so this book is mainly intended for a transition from computational math classes like calculus or a first course in differential equations or linear algebra um, to a more abstract or theoretical class like real analysis, abstract algebra, or even advanced linear algebra. So all of those advanced classes require you to learn how to write proofs. And so this book will teach you the different proof techniques and how to write them. Now, one of the good things about this book is that this book is also online for free. So if you want to learn um, how to write proofs online, or you can just search up Book of Proof by Richard Hammack, and it'll take you to, I believe, to the author's website where you can access basically every single page of this book. But if you want a physical copy, then I believe it's not that expensive on Amazon. You just go ahead and buy it for like 30 bucks. So looking at the table of contents here, we start with section one, uh, fundamentals. So you learn about basically what is a set, and you move on to logic statements, followed by counting. And then section two here is really the main part of this book. It's the main proof techniques. So you learn direct proof, and then contrapositive proof, and then proof by contradiction. So those are the three main proofs that you learn how to write and construct. And then you have more on proof, so non-conditional statements, proofs involving sets, and disproof, which is basically, well, it's obviously proving why something's wrong, but using these three techniques. And then you have, what well, actually, this is one other math technique, or one other proof technique here, mathematical induction. So basically, you have four main proof techniques, direct proof, contrapositive, proof by contradiction, and then finally, proof by uh, mathematical induction. And then we have the last part here, part four, relations, functions, and cardinality. This is more of a, or this is more intended for an introduction to those upper level math classes. So relations, functions, proofs in calculus, and then finally, uh, cardinality of sets. And then we finish off with the conclusion. And another good thing about this book is that there are solutions to every odd problem in this book, which is very rare for a proofs book. So the basic outline of each chapter is fairly straightforward. You start with the chapter one, and then there's a subsection, so introduction to sets 1.1, and then you have the practice problems associated with 1.1 at the end. So there are some examples in the lecture as well. And here are the exercises. And obviously the solutions are in the back of the book for each odd problem, or for every odd problem. And you move on to the next section. So overall, I thought this book was a great read. And it definitely helped me understand the different proof techniques and it prepared me for taking an upper level course in mathematics. So I'll definitely recommend this book to anyone who's going to take those upper level math classes and they want to learn how to write proofs beforehand so that they are prepared for those classes. And that's it for the review. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or you want to recommend another book on proof techniques or proof writing techniques, feel free to comment. And I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.